We're at the Pennsylvania Run Fair today. This is opening weekend for the PA Run Fair and I'm really excited. What are you excited for? I hear there are real bathrooms here. Yes, there are real bathrooms here. <laughs> I am excited to see the mermaids and then our main goals are like get turkey leg, get soup in a bread bowl. I've decided that that's how I'm going to be judging food at Run Fairs from now on <laughs> because Maryland does not have good soup and bread bowl, but Ohio did. 10 years ago. And you said that since this is Pennsylvania, they have- Oh, they have pierogies! <laughs> yeah! Okay, cool. This is my outfit. I'll show you a better image of my outfit later. Okay, bye! <laughs> from Kit and we're going to the pirate ship which is literally there. Disneyland, they just do it right. Disneyland's got the budget for better turkey legs. That's true. That's true. I think that LA was still better. Yeah, it was also $19. Yeah, it was a lot more expensive. I can't remember if this is better or worse than Maryland, honestly. That's fair. So we'll have to figure it out when we go next week. Hey! <laughs> Soup do they got? It's beautiful. Ooh, it is beautiful. 
Good soup. The bread bowl looks much better than the Maryland one. Like it looks like an actual sourdough. It looks like Panera. Maybe there's a Panera on the other side of that wall. Probably. The last time we got one, it was not hot. Panera. Oh yeah, Maryland was like lukewarm. Also their bread is more like a dinner roll texture yeah. than sourdough. So you're out of 10 for Maryland, but this one's pretty good. Well, I would give it a one out of town because there was yeah. soup and there was bread. It's <laughs> true. <laughs> It lived up to its name. Yeah. Don't get yeah. the Maryland ones, but the PA one I mean, I've never is okay. okay. Unfortunately, this is mostly bread and not much soup, Sorry, so. At least it's good bread. It is. One out of 10. Seven. Yay, we did it. We didn't finish it. Good it was try. mostly just really good bread. I missed a step. We believe in you. Hey! Archery is another thing that we always like to do at the Ren Fair, but they don't let you split a like thing of arrows here. We'll see if their archery is as good. <laughs> this roof is so short, like this is literally what I can see right now. The target is down there. What you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure that the arrow is leveled from the bridge straight back to the string. It's gonna make a T. Okay? What it is, you want the two that are the same portion so that as you release, they're gonna slide nicely right off. You're gonna pull back to your cheek. Where you're aiming is for the red and yellow circle. Alright, make a go. Okay, so archery at Maryland has worse arrows, but better venue, I guess. I had to kneel most of the time, and it was just very hard to shoot anything. Didn't hit anything. Oh well. What was your rating? I got two out of ten. Oh, you got two out of ten. Two out of ten. Good job. Oh, yeah, I hit the wall. I was told I was too powerful. Okay, scotch eggs, French fries, fried in peanut oil, so not allergen friendly. Kettle corn, the kettle corn might be allergen friendly. Butter, so not vegan friendly. What is that? Grilled cheese? Okay, vegetarian friendly. Ice cream and milkshakes. You already had dairy. I guess I brought two lactic. Chicken on a stick, steak on a steak, all of the pierogies. Oh shoot, do you want to get pierogies? Nitro coffee, that's exciting, and cold brew. They got cheese steaks, chicken cheese steak. I don't know if they have non-chicken cheese steak. Oh, I guess we're like right by Philly, so yeah. that makes sense. Frozen, Frozen drinks. drinks. Oh, so like smoothies and cappuccinos. And more turkey leg. Oh, and then there's food over here too. What's the food over here? Food, chicken and fries, fried flounder and fries, bottled water, soda. We gotta know what's in the absinthe garden, so we're doing it. She's a little hot. Baby, hi. You're so cute. Wow. It was nice to meet you. Traditional and specialty. You gotta tell me if it's got the crotch. Dang. Micah also got birch beer. How is it? Salty. Is it crunchy? Salty. It's not crunchy. No? It Salty. looks like it has crotch on it. It does have a little bit. What do you think, Triel? Decent. Decent? Okay. Edible. We'd be, we'd be Edible? Be like Have crunch. No fried bag of cheese. Yeah, you're right. Friel keeps getting all the presents, so we're gonna go through a tour. We got bracelet one. Bracelet one. Set the fairies forever. Oh. It's got a little mushy on it. Yeah. That's really cute. Arm bracelet. 
That's cute too. The little rainbow bow. Another one. That's Unfortunately, another one. I can't find it at the moment, but there, someone else gave me an orange feather. He Perfect. gave it. She gave it to me because it matched my hair. Oh, cute. Piece of, it's Wait, a piece show of me your nails. Pretty. Got a match. Yeah, it looks like the beetle wings. Wait, Debbie, show me your nails. Pretty. Debbie does nails. Wait, what's your nail Instagram? Beauty <laughs> we got pierogies. Are you getting funnel cake? No depth perception. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. So good. Pierogies range higher than the turkey leg, but maybe lower than the soup. I don't know. I like the pierogies better. They're less buttery than the ones in Pittsburgh. Yeah. But they're good. They're good. The happiest boy. What did we get? Oh, okay. How is it? Delicious. Delicious? It's fried dough. Spicy? Hell yeah. You can't even enjoy that. <laughs> Spicy funnel cake. Look at that lighting on that funnel cake, though. Oh, That's yeah. beautiful. How is it? Ooh, wow. Oh my god. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> okay, we're heading home now. Oh, it's so bright. Very bright. Pretty sunset though. I mean, I guess it's not quite sunset. Pretty golden hour. See it. Okay, so main things that are different. Mermaids. Mermaids. PA yeah, has mermaids. Turkey legs were worse than Maryland. Absolutely. Bread bowl was better than Maryland. The bread. The bread, the bread was, was so better than good. Maryland. And the soup was actually hot. And the soup, yeah, the soup was good. They have pierogies. Maryland doesn't have pierogies. But what was your favorite part? I mean, seeing all of you. Oh, what oh, was your other things. favorite part? Other favorite oh, part? Funnel cake at the end. Funnel Always cake at funnel the end. Funnel cake at the end. <laughs> what was your favorite part? All of it. Meeting all you guys, it? hanging out. Me. Me. More mead. More mead. Now, more mead. Friends is a cop out answer. <laughs> I gave a real. I gave a real one. You did. What was your favorite part? Seeing my friends and yummy food and have good times. So everything. Yeah, pretty much everything. <laughs> what Kids makes this hair yeah. better than other fairs? Oh yeah, or worse. The fact that you guys were here. Well, well, we're also at other fairs, so, so I don't know. So will also be awesome. Uh, it's kind of nice to have a paved road. Yeah, yeah, it is nice that it's paved. Okay, we're going that way, so. Bye! Oh wait, we should probably give hugs. Oh yeah. Okay, so what was your favorite part? But that bread is sticking the out bread. in my head. <laughs> Their beers were like legit beers, not yeah. just like the single set of beers across every single bar in the entire place, like Maryland. That's true. You go to the German bar and they had German beers. You go to the Irish bar and they had Irish beers. Mm -hmm. The mermaids are my favorite part. I, I know think. that was that was magical. They're so cute. It was very cute. We met so many like random people too. Mentioned in the Ren Fair Survival Guide video that like. As long as you're open to random strangers talking to you at all, then you will make friends. We had so many people, probably like three separate, four, four separate groups of people just come up and talk to us and like, are like, we like your costumes. Let me give you a little trinket and just do that and you'll make friends. So I feel like there were a lot more trinket giving at this one. That's true, but we might also just miss those people True, true. when we're there. I think the buildings here are cooler. Oh, like yes. they all have like second floors where people like, Oh. have decorated and stuff. Oh, Actual they're doing fireworks. fireworks. I don't understand the point of doing fireworks in the daylight. I guess it's exciting. The archery was definitely worse. Yeah. That was much worse than Maryland, and I like that Maryland lets you split things where they don't let you do that here. Yeah, they're much more casual about it in Maryland, which is, may or may not be a good thing for safety. I but... don't know. I think they still do it safely. I haven't seen anybody get hurt there. True. Okay. Oh, they had ice cream. I yeah. guess they probably have ice cream at the Maryland one. I don't Not think much, we've ever though. gotten it. I, I, the only time I've gotten ice cream there was the root beer float with vanilla. I will say that they have no restrictions here on people doing like drop shipping or like selling stuff that you can just find on Amazon, which is not great. Maryland is a lot better for artisans. I think LA was also better for artisans. I don't remember seeing much that was like Amazon stuff in LA and that's just completely banned in Maryland, but it was not banned here. And so there were a lot of things that you can just get for really cheap other places. And I don't know, I don't like that so much. I think it's much better to just have artisans who are selling their own stuff. Yeah, it's better for the environment, better for the people who are not being exploited. I don't know, the only people artisans are exploiting are usually themselves, so. 
Yeah, and it's nice when, you know, the money that you spend on fun things is actually going to people that you care about and have been interacting with right yeah. there instead of sweatshops somewhere. Yeah, agreed. So I think that is probably my biggest gripe with PA Run Fair is, oh, it got really bright. <laughs> Stop that. Okay, so my biggest gripe with PA Run Fair is that they don't have any restrictions on what people can sell. So people can just sell like knockoff or Amazon kind of stuff. It is so bright. Sorry that my sweat is like blinding everybody. You're glowing and sparkling. Uh, yeah, like glowing. I feel like I do run into people less here, like with my wings. I felt like there was more space. It might have just not been as crowded either because it's the opening weekend, so yeah. who knows. I think that is the main takeaways. Now we're gonna go home. Yay, home! We got a long drive, so stay awake. We're gonna listen to an audio book. We are gonna listen to our, we're listening to the Cloisters right now, and it's pretty good. We're yeah, listening. I'm enjoying it. It started and you were like, this person just rewrote the, what's the book? Oh, The Secret History. It feels kind of like they took a lot of inspiration from Secret History. I don't know, I have my feelings about Secret History, but this is less problematic, I think, than Secret History is, so that's good. I'm like really feeling dark academia right now. I'm also listening to Love and Gelato, but that's separate of Micah, so I like that book too. It was cute. Trying to catch up on my 2023 Read 52 books in a year goal, and I'm like 10 books behind, so I gotta catch up. Okay, I think that is pretty much it. It's officially the start of Ren Fair season. This is our first fair of the season. I'm so excited. So like get ready to see lots and lots of Ren Fair videos from Yay, here until, Ren I don't know, Fair. the end of the year. See you in the next one. If you got any questions, comments, leave them in the comments. Like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see the rest of Ren Fair season. That's it. You want to say bye? Bye. Bye. bye.